Hey guys, it's Cast Iron Kid here again just to go through some tools that I have. I like to do a lot of cast iron cooking, hence the Cast Iron Kid moniker. And then when I go camping or when I go to the shop and I make some food for all the guys, I like to make sure I bring all my tools that I need and they're all in one nice bag. So I went out and I decided I was going to get something like this from Home Depot. And it's just basically a soft side tool bag and it has some pockets and stuff. But what's inside of it is, that's the key. I can grab this, I know everything is in it, I need for the day. Whatever cooking I'm doing, whatever serving I'm doing, this works great. So, first of all, I'll show you some different things. The first bag is basically just a big bag and it holds all my tools that I'm going to be using right away. It has my measuring cups in it. So if I'm doing any cooking that has measuring or whatever the situation is, it has all those things. Then it has some tongs, it has some spoons, it has a can opener, really important. It even has a small little knife, a bread knife. But I have three different spoons, one slotted, one sturdy, one medium size. I have a, a stew spoon, I have a couple different rubber scrapers or spatulas. I have two tongs, just if I'm cooking something, I have a couple different variety of spatulas. So these are all the tools I have and I keep these in. This is basically a bag I just made in the mountain man style that they keep everything in their bags. So that's what I do is I keep everything in here. That way whatever I'm serving, whether it's peach cobbler, meatloaf, chicken pesto lasagna, if I'm making biscuits, if I'm homemade biscuits, I gotta measure it out, it's all done. Have a little nice little cinch bag. That goes there. The next thing I have is if I'm doing any cooking, I'm always going to need a cutting board. So this is an example of, an, of a, another one of the bags I make. And inside here is just a simple cutting board and a knife. A white knife, has its own sheath, easy to use, very, very sharp. What you need to make sure is you keep these nice and sharp. And this goes in here, it's a perfect size for this. I, I measured it out, sewed it, and uh, took care of it once again. It goes back to the idea that uh, almost that mountain man having a different bag for everything and making sure you, you see what's inside of it or you know what's inside of it. As we go on and show you some other um, Dutch, uh, Dutch oven or cast iron cooking stuff, you'll see that I have a lot of different bags made, especially for this. Well, the next part of this is that's the, the uh, lid lifter. I have that. Plus, I also carry a, the, the tongs to move the, the charcoal around. Next thing inside, these are things that I put inside because that's the order I'm going to be using them. I have a couple welder's gloves, and I got these at Home Depot also. Instead of spending big dollars for other ones, these were pretty inexpensive. But once you have them, you have them, you don't need to deal with it. Other things I have in here is my um, brushes. I got one of these from Lodge Logic, and they're okay. It spins around a little bit, moves around a little bit. I use this one and the red one basically only for the top of the and the outside of the cast iron. Nothing for the inside. This is where all the charcoal is going to be collected inside here. And these were originally in the inside, but they got dirty, so now I use them only on the outside. That way you don't have any problems with that. Here's another one that's just about ready to be transferred to the outside. It has a little scraper there so I can scrape if I have any. Uh, cooked on food. And then I always carry an extra one, a brand new one. I get these from Target for like $1.99, $2. It's really, really good for what I need. I like the handle versus non-handle because I can get in there and get these edges when I have a pot full of water. The next thing I need when I'm cooking is something for the lids. So I use these two. I got two because I'm very often I'm cooking more than one pot cast iron uh, stove. So I use two of these lid lifters. And the cool thing about these lid lifters that a lot of people don't realize is that these can also be used on cast iron that doesn't have legs. Just put it on top of that, put the charcoal around it, and you can balance it, the uh, charcoal on top of the other lids. That's really cool. I have two of them. They fold down really well. You get them at Cabela's, Gander Mountain, um, wherever. Very good to have your, your box here. I also have a little uh, bacon press or a panini press. I use this once in a while just to keep down the, the bread. It gives us some nice grill marks. Make sure everything's cooked well. 
So I like to use this a lot. The other thing in, in here is just um, a brush. After I get done cooking and I knock those coals off, I usually like to, to brush it. That way, these things don't get as dirty as much as if I didn't brush them off. You have to be careful because this will light on fire if you don't make sure all the, if you don't make sure all the coals are out of it. So that's kind of a cool tool. Then I just have some paper, which I keep in the bottom just to keep things clean. But if I'm ever doing charcoal and I need to light the chimney and I don't have any uh, newspaper, I have some paper that I can light. The last thing that's in here that's really important that I have to make sure I have it all the time is basically just a tube of vegetable oil. Just inexpensive vegetable oil so when I get done, I can wipe down all my cast iron, make sure it's nice and clean, make sure it's nice and oiled up so when I store it, it's all set to go for the next time. So all this stuff fits back inside here really, really nicely. And once again, it's typically in the order that I'm going to be using it. I put those uh, lid lifters off to that one side, I put these off to the other side. Just put stuff inside of it and as you can see, what it looks like so far is just basically, I don't know if you can see that, but just fits in there really nice. And as I'm going through and grabbing my stuff that I'm doing in the cast iron cooking, outside of the house, this is great. If it's even at the house, I know all my tools are here, so if any cooking I need to make, anything I need to do, I'm all set, and it's all in one spot. If you've seen any, any of my other videos, especially the Ultimate Camp Kitchen, you know I like to have things ready to go at a moment's notice. Thank you for watching. Enjoy cast iron cooking. Once again, this is Cast Iron Kid saying enjoy the outdoors. Thank you.